and uh, I had a really good chat with the Lord. Uh, and uh, I pour my heart out to him as always. Because he's the only one that can bring the comfort that we need. Uh, so many times we go through those seasons in our lives where we feel really discouraged. And this morning the message by Pastor Tim was so uplifting. It was so encouraging. That I begin to think about how many listeners out there right now that is going through those seasons of discouragement in their life right now. I begin to think about you with what you're facing right now or what you're experiencing right now in your life. And in and those seasons, when you're going through those turmoils, when you're going through those hiccups, when you're going through those dark valleys, when you're going through those seasons of pain and discouragement, you feel like if God is not even listening to your prayer, you're praying and nothing is changing, nothing is happening. You know, you're making those declarations that the breakthrough is coming, the miracles are on the way. And you're like, okay, God, I'm standing in your word. I know you're going to come true. I know you're going to do it, God. And I can say and behold, any nothing is really happening. Whatsoever. And you're wondering, you choose to stay is God really listening to my prayer? Areas, you're going to die. Incredible, incredible, One thing incredible I can tell you, my dear friends, uh, it has dropped. Even when he is silent, that doesn't mean that he's not listening. That doesn't mean that it he's not there. 50 millibars that just means that in 10 he's hours. at work. Even in um, the midst I of God being just silent in our situation, horrific. he is right there. And God is working out the details of your life as I'm speaking right now. God is is shifting things around. He is making a way where there seemed to be no way. Beautiful song that we just played by Darlene Check. And we're going to play that again because I want to remind you that God is making a way. You know, earlier on this week, I, I shared with you guys uh, that we are, today's Friday. Today's the 11th of October. And we got this bill that it needs to be taken care of. And I was really like, God, Monday, you sh I believe Tuesday, you showed up. God, you're going to show up. You, you, you're going to provide that thing. And here we are on Friday. I mean, God can supernaturally do it right now. There is nothing too hard for him to do. And the reason why I'm talking to you, because I know that so many of you right now, you are in that same position. You're in that same situation. And you're like, God, on Friday, I know you're going to come true. I know that you're going to shift things around uh, God, I know that you're going to make a way where there seemed to be no way with that problem that I'm facing, with that financial bill that needs to be paid. God, I know that naturally you're going to move things around. And Friday is here. And you're like, okay, God, where are you? I didn't see the mountain being moved. I didn't see you making a way in the midst of the storm. God, what is really happening right now? I just came by to encourage you this morning and to remind you that this God that we serve, he is making a way. He's going to come through for you. Maybe you went home yesterday after a long day of work and you just cry yourself to sleep. Maybe you've been up all night tossing and turning, pacing the floors. Sleep can't come to your eyes because your heart is so heavy with everything that you're going through right now. I just want you to know, now is not the time to quit. Now is not the time to give up. For the race is for the swift, it's for those that will endure to the end. And I want you to continue to endure. I want you to continue to the good fight of faith. Don't look left, don't look to the right. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eye on the author and the finish of your faith. God through this all. God is dead through this all. I'm here. 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 I'm don't give up. God is going to make a way. God is going to come through for you. 50 you just got to hold on a little longer. In 10 hours. You just got to continue to keep your eyes um, up. Looking onto the hills from whence coming your help. Because your help doesn't horrific. come from man. It comes from the Lord. God will make a way. That is the title of today's program. God will make a way. I don't know who I came to speak to this morning. I do not know where you are listening to this radio station, but I just came to remind you that God will make a way. 
He will make a way where there seemed to be no way. If there's a Red Sea, he's going to pad it for you. He will make a way. He will make a way. Oh, I believe it. I believe it with all my heart that God will make a way. Even when my heart feels discouraged, even when I feel dung and crushed in spirit, I know that he will make a way. I got up this morning knowing that God is going to perform a miracle, that God is going to shift some things around. I woke up this morning knowing that today God is going to supernaturally show up in my situation. Glory to God. My dear friends, don't quit. Don't give up. Don't give in to the lies of the enemy. The Lord, he is making a way for you this morning. Remind yourself of that word that God will make a way. He's making a way for you today. Come on, let's worship the Lord this morning. I want you to cast aside everything that you've been thinking about that is negative. Everything that you're going through right now, put it aside. And turn your heart to Jesus. Turn your attention to the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. And just watch God move mountains on your behalf today. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>